Initializing Superhero Saturday. Hey, what's up, you guys? This is John Miss Prime, when I was a teenager. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? I'm John 3.0, and I am the home of the one and only Sean Miss Prime right now. And he's asleep, so I'm gonna videotape his crap. There's his masterpiece, Optimus Prime. And there's some thingy with a wire on it. And then there's, there's that oh crappy figure of Spike inside a roller. And then there's Hot Toys, Superman with the box. And there's this, there's this super bulge right there. And there's this super abs and a super pecs. I'm Christopher Reeves, uh, I'm Superman. He's got this Fortress of Solitude stand thing going here. It's pretty awesome. That's how that works. I was always wondering. He's got a little tank made out of bullets. Isn't that cool? So it's Blu-rays. It's got we've been watching some Star Wars. It's been pretty awesome. There's uh there's there's Odinson the All Father. There he is. Hey buddy. What you doing? He's a little skittish. And he stinks because all this poop. Anyways, uh, there he is. He caught that swordfish with his bare hands. And I, uh, I did pick up a few things while I was here, not a whole lot. I got, uh, I got a uh, Marvel Legends Wolverine, and I got a Marvel Legends uh, Deadpool, which is pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. I got, I got something in particular uh, in mind for this because of the Deadpool game coming out. There's a Terracon Cliff Jumper down there inside my first edition, inside my bag, and there's his guitar. Baby face. There's a signed picture from Peter Mayhew, Chewbacca. And it's like the ultimate cool house because it's got like CDs inside of his cabinet instead of China. It's a Megatron, and Wonder Woman, and Skywarp, and like little kids, and then just all this like awesome stuff. So he's like the ultimate awesome like house. Um, he's like the ultimate place to, to like hang out. Because he's got all this cool nerd stuff for me to check out. Every room has got nerdy stuff in it. He's got comic books all over. Check this one out. It's got freaking autographs all over the thing. That's sweet. So anyways, I'm gonna sneak into the nerd room right now. This is the uh, this is the collector cave here. It's freaking sweet. Check this out. Oh. Start up here at the corner. This is his masterpiece collection and alternators. There's the uh, 25th anniversary one. And he's got his Seekers and his Megatron. These are all G1s. Yes, yes. G1, baby. All the good old school stuff. Pretty sweet, right? There's Soundwave. Oh, yeah, it's what I ever see in South Dakota. Superhero stuff. Get all the Spider-Man stuff. 
There's some Green Lantern, some DC. There's Watchmen stuff. I mean, look how cool this is. I love how he's got everything set up where he's actually fighting stuff. That's a freaking great shot right there. Spider-Man wears a big freaking Venom. And apparently these guys have been battling it out. <laughs> Lionel versus the Tick. <laughs> oh, look at that big freaking Galactus. My hand compared to the Galactus. That thing is huge. Sentinel has to. Look how big that is. You want to go push buttons, but I don't want to wake anybody up. He's got them on the walls. There's blackest night figures along the window. There's Swamp Thing. Pretty cool. Got a couple wrestling figures in there. These are kind of all mixed together. There's a storm coming, Mr. Wayne. Why are you so serious, Catwoman? Because I'm dramatic. I'm Anne Hathaway. I have a particular set of skills. Anyways, if you get the idea. Then I'll break you. You're all going to die down here. I'm not sure. That's, oh, that must be Sophia. He has walking dead zombies up here and stuff. This is all DC. I think these are all DC too. I'm not 100% sure. Got his turtles down here. Freaking sweet. Those look really cool. I like those. I like the front set. And the white ones. And he's got some Marvel Legends and Selects down here. You can fit a lot of Marvel Universe in that, set, in that section. He's got his Avengers set up from the uh, the Walmart exclusives and stuff. That looks really good, though. I don't like the hero click space, but it really does work to set him up in that circle thing. And he's got Marvel Legends galore. Look how awesome. Not a real big fan of the Wrecking Crew, but it is a pretty cool figure. We found this one in Target yesterday. He was trying to convince me to buy it, but I'm not, I'm not a big fan. I do like that Sentinel, though. That's that's my hand. Okay, there's there's my hand from from wrist to finger. Doesn't even reach his waist. That's how big this figure is. Pretty cool. Anyways, there's Dark Phoenix above it all, along with Magneto. He's got some cool like. He made some like. Magnetic energy things out of clear twist ties. Isn't that cool? He's a big advocate for articulated comic book art. There's the only cosplayer I could ever pull off, right there. <laughs> Just saying. And he's really great at posing and stuff. And then there's the huge setup up here. This looks like the front of a comic book, except there's no background on it. But it's just, I mean, he's got these really set up good. This is one of my favorites. Check out Ant Man. Here's that little Ant Man. And he gets bigger all the way up to the fake one. <laughs> a couple of these are customs too, so. There's his second hot toy figure, which is Captain America. Look at how cool that shield is. Amazing. Boobies. But. <laughs> he got some, uh, some busts in there. Okay, come up, card. There's this cabinet of Iron Man. That is amazing right there. It looks good. He needs a Hot Toys Iron Man to go in there, though. There's this adventure set up with Grey Hulk, apparently. And I like that Thor, though. I love that Thor. That's what Thor should have looked in the movie, I think. There's some more cards. It's Vincent Price looking guy. And his place of doom. That's cool, too. I like Iceman's little sculpture thing. We got some more adventure down here. Apparently, Loki finally took Thor down, and then somebody's eating his butt. There's the one I just bought right there. Winter Soldier, Captain America. Pretty cool. He's got some, some really nice figures in here. I have those two. Oh man, look how nice Archangel's wings are. I, I got him that one, which is a really nice figure. Came with this little dude. Okay, I hope there's a green hook. I'm not sure what that one's doing. I don't know if this is something Charlie don't want did, but that is a, uh, mm, a menage something. <laughs> I'm not sure if she does it on purpose. It grabs me out, it trips me out. There's a Deadpool and there's a bottle of pine so. <laughs> That's awesome. Sinister or something, I don't know, I can't tell. It's hard to see in the dark. 
It's got Ghost Rider riding on the wall. That's a bad, bad freaking bike right there. That's weird. And then you got your X Men. Ooh, sorry, it's really early. There's a Hulk. Go down the Sentinel. Got a couple of guys that fell down back there. Some of these are supposed to be down, though. He sent them up this way. It's pretty cool. That's awesome. Kevin Michael Richards had voiced that guy in the cartoon. There's the scrolls attacking. Not the scrolls. Yeah, you take that guy down thing. Mm -hmm. Also. Bing, bing, boom. Hello, Mr. Fantastic. It's Mr. Fantastic. And then he's got this set up right here, which is awesome, too. He's got green goblins fighting Spider-Man like mid-air. Really nice. He's got this sandpaper cloth stuff to make the Sandman look like he's actually made out of sand. It's pretty cool. J. Jonah Jameson. There's what Kingman should look like in the movie. Carnage, one of my favorites. I got an episode Beetle too. It's all really cool. Very nice. And that, my friends, is Charmus Prime's famous toy room. Boza. Uh oh. Bikini Leia. Oh look, he's actually got a web for Spider-Man to hang from. <laughs> There's a spider at the corner of the room. Spider, kill it. He's got a big closet full of crap that we can't get into. Boxes and whatnot. All of those figures. See, like, like most Marvel Fate Legends collectors, he has to randomly repost his figures because he gets tired of looking at the same setups. So he has to go and change them. I also don't know if I got these or not, but he's got some on the wall back here too. There's just so much to look at in this room. It's freaking awesome. So anyways, I don't want to wake him up so I'm going to go. But uh, anyways, subscribe to Shardimus Prime. Spelled just like it sounds. Shardimus Prime on YouTube. And he's got some great Marvel reviews, got some great DC reviews, he's got some great Transformers reviews, we gotta beef up his Transformers subscribership, because he has a lot of cool, I mean, look at that, that's the Transformer wall, it's amazing, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later, peace. And click on the link in the video description below, for all the latest action figures, collectibles, and pre-orders from BigBadToyStore.com.